What we're looking at here, guys, is the bottom end of my Astrophysics 6-inch Eagle adjustable folding pier, the Eagle 6. What I want to do is put some rubber on these feet because as you use this on concrete and cement, they're going to get, you know, roughed up. But what I want it for also is a little more friction material so that uh, it doesn't slide. If I'm using this aluminum plate on the ground when the, it's really soft so that it doesn't sink in, I want to have that material, that friction material between it and the leg. Now for ease of doing this, I put the Eagle tripod on uh, two sawhorses. Now you're going to need a 5 30 seconds Allen wrench. So I'm going to use a um, 5 30 seconds socket. And I've not had these off before, so we'll see how this uh, goes. Oh, yeah. Very simple. That's, they got this shoulder bolt. That goes through there. That allows for a nice smooth operation. Here you see that shoulder bolt through the uh, leg. And now that they're off, it'd be a good time to clean those up. Okay, those look much better. And I just used a furniture polish to uh, clean those up. Now the diameter of these feet are two and a quarter inches. And I was going to cut something and make something up for those. But I found this item. You can get these. I believe I just bought these at Lowe's. But anywhere that sells these Hillman products, this is what I got. It's three eighths inch by two and a quarter inch by one eighth. So the center hole is three eighths of an inch diameter. The overall diameter is two and a quarter, which perfectly matches the foot and an eighth inch thick. I mean, that is perfect. Just just what the doctor ordered. I mean, don't don't have to do anything. No trimming. This will look perfect. No rough edges. The next thing is, what will I use to attach these to the bottom of those uh, feet? Now, I didn't want this to be a permanent thing. I, I needed it to be able to come off should the rubber wear or get torn for some reason and if I were to use epoxy two-part epoxy like you see there good luck so I found this product again I just happen to find it at Lowe's and I haven't used it uh, yet never have never used it before and haven't tried it yet but I believe this to be basically a spray contact adhesive and they had different uh, versions there I after reading it looking at it I just decided to use the uh, 3M Super 77. And contact cement actually was one of my, the things that I was going to use. The issue with contact cement is if you don't use it much and you buy a, I think this was like $10, $9.99. But if you buy contact cement and you don't use it up, and I've used gallons and gallons and gallons of contact cement, back in the day when I was a carpenter so uh, I went through hordes of it but if you don't it tends to dry out and it's useless so I thought let's just try this option here 
Now, as you can see, the bottom of these feet are, are all roughed up. But I want to rough up the interior area too, as that's going to be part of what is going to be glued also with that rubber washer. Alright, so I happen to have some pre cut that I pre cut uh, sandpaper for my Porter Cable block sander. This is 50 grit, so I'm just going to do something like this initially to get the And I'm going to do that to all of them, just like that. Then I'll do the inside. Then I need to rough up that center, so I'll uh, do something like this. Because you want to have it, you don't want it real smooth, you want it to be able to grip. like that then what I did is I used some shop air and made sure I blew all these off to eliminate any dust and dirt from the uh, sandpaper grit next I want to clean those bottoms and what I'm gonna do is I have lacquer thinner this is just what I'm using I'm gonna spray some lacquer thinner on a rag and then being careful I just want to do the bottom that's a clean rag that I'm sending them back down on So if there was anything on there, I should get it off. Now we also have these rubber washers that I want to get off if there's anything from manufacturing. I want to make sure that those are perfectly clean. And so, don't have to be too careful with this. We can do both sides. And you can see where it's picking up, of course, from that rubber. But I, like I said, I just want to make sure I get them as clean as possible. So that uh, this cement will hold to it. And I'll do the same to the other two. And you can definitely tell that that rubber needed it. So, don't want to skip that step. So I have to prep these for the spray. So I masked them off. And I found a box that I uh, got some uh, Tecton tools in. And so I just cut a little hole there. So I'll stick that under like that, then when I spray it, I'll just spray across here, any of the overage will come here, and I'm going to put some wax paper down on my garage floor here, any overspray, I'm doing this inside the garage. It's not windy today, which is surprising, but I did it in here so there's not a lot of, uh, you know, the overspray won't be going everywhere. So like I said, that's what I did here, so that way we're not getting it all over, we're just going to get it on that surface that we is required. Now here's those rubber washers. What I did is I used the masking tape and I put it on the underside of them like that. 
my thought being that as I spray the can over this you're gonna get obviously the glue everywhere so when it's time for this to be put on I want to be able to pick this up like this and if it slides a little bit it won't be a big deal and then just peel this off before I put it on the leg the, the foot and if I do happen to drag it across here it's not a big deal because this is protected till I take it off then peel off the uh, masking tape and then put it on the foot so that's my thought I've not done anything like this before I don't know how smooth it'll go and as always uh, read the can before using the product I'm not sure if I'm getting that too thick, but we shall see. Now one thing to help test this, you can see that's picking up, so that's that's not dry. Okay, so you want to be able to touch this is just like contact cement. You want to be able to touch that and not come up so we're just gonna let that set a little bit another thing is make sure you've got your cleaner just that little bit on my hands and stuff it's very tacky and sticky so you don't want to get that all over so again I'm using lacquer thinner that may not be the best thing for you to use uh, I don't care if it dries my hands a little bit it's not a big deal but that's what I'm using on a rag to clean because I'll tell you that stuff is that stuff is very sticky So this is what this is good for. Okay guys, it looks like it's about ready. So let's see how we're gonna do this. I'm gonna peel this off. I'm going to set that down here. What I did is I put another piece of cardboard on there in case there was any stuff that was over. And one thing I'm also going to do is make sure I've got my rig here. That stuff is wicked. Let me try this. I'm going to pull that off. Yeah, maybe we will. Maybe we won't. Now what I'm also going to do, wipe my hands here, stuff is sticky. So the next thing I'm going to do, wow, that is sticky stuff, got to tell you. So that's on there. Looks like I could have shifted it a bit, but we're, we're pretty good. Next thing I'm going to do is, just for the hell of it, I am going to clamp it down just to let that set up. Just like that. We'll see what happens. I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of them. Well, I can tell you, lacquer thinner was my best friend today because this stuff is sticky. So, 
Um, again, just make sure you have some kind of a product that you want to use to um, clean your fingertips. And I'm so glad that I used that wax paper. It was it was very easy to just uh, once I was done, just fold everything over and throw it out. So, but uh, I guess the main thing I can tell you is make sure you have a product that uh, will clean this off. Okay, guys, the sun has come out. It's starting to warm up nicely, and I couldn't be happier with the way these turned out. And I just clamped them up for maybe 15, 20 minutes, just for the heck of it. Don't know that you need to do that, but you, you can see all that. You can see that uh, how that uh, configured to the form of that foot because it was dished out. See there when I show that in the sun. You can see where that dished out right here, and then it dips down a little bit. So that stuck down there really nice. And again, by using that type of glue, uh, if I ever need to take these off, epoxy wouldn't be worth a damn. You don't want to use epoxy. So, anyways, let's put them on. Okay, the job would not be complete without torquing them down a bit. 